the um between you between you and your god knowing you will meet him one day did tinobu win the election let's start with the question <laughs> i swear to almighty god tinobu won the election i swear to almighty god and when i say i swear to almighty god i'm sure of what i'm saying that's Okay, that answers it. Um, let me see one or two questions here. Yeah. I've made predictions. I had made predictions, and I think I was on the maybe the twenty sixth state. And from those predictions, it was clear who was going to win. Look, if Tinobu rigged the election in northern Nigeria, where the bulk of the votes are, mm. do you think they will be silent the way they are silent? Absolutely. How come these protests are limited to only a part of southern Nigeria? Just a very small part of southern Nigeria. How could anybody want me to believe that Peter will be won the election? Bring a Bible, bring anything to me. I will swear to God that Tinobu won the election. Because I'm sure. I'm sure. This is the thing. I don't know how people came to the conclusion that Obi must have won the election. When he didn't win a single state dominated by Muslim in Yoruba land, the state that has the highest percentage of Muslim is Oshun State, and that state was won by the PDP. By the PDP. Yeah. In northern Nigeria, in northern Nigeria, the northwest states, that's where you have the highest population of Muslim. Obi never won any state there. Hmm. The highest performance that he recorded in the northwest was in Kaduna State. That's in Kaduna State and he didn't even he didn't score up to twenty five percent there. But that was his best performance in the Northwest. Right. In other places, yes. So that is the thing I think it's, it's called twenty one percent or so in in Kaduna State. That was the highest in the Northwest. Yeah. You can't win an election in Nigeria if you do not do well in the Northwest. Yes. That is a fact. Absolutely. And he didn't do well in the Northwest. No one should deceive himself that Peter Obi won the election. He didn't it's win. Bring ball. anything. I will swear with it. I will swear with it that one, Peter Obi didn't win the election, and two, Tinobu won the election. Right. I can also tell you that if Peter Obi had not been in the race, Atiku would have defeated Tinobu easily. Mm. That's another fact for mm. me. You hear me, I say the truth all the time. This is the way God created me. If Obi had not been in the race, if Obi had not taken away those votes that Atiku used to get in Nigeria's um, uh, Christian-dominated northern states, mm. the south-south and the southeast, it would have been an easy win for Atiku, for Atiku over Tinobu. But in this election, Tinobu won. Despite losing, the, the question is, if you wanted to rig, won't you start with your home state? They always say that you rig where you are, you are, you are popular. Why did he lose Lagos? Why did he lose Kaduna, lost Kano, lost Kasina? All the biggest states, Tinobu lost. No. So for me, people, because I always say, oh, I will meet my God, I am ready to meet my God stand before him and say that this is the person who won the election. This has nothing to do with whether I like him or I don't like him. That's I've said fact. repeatedly that I do not want to work for a politician and uh, to stay like that. That's a fact. People accused me, they said I didn't condemn, they said I didn't condemn the killings, I mean the attacks in Lagos. I have condemned it four times now. They said you can't do it. If you do it, you'll lose your job. I have condemned the attack on TV four times. One on uh, your view two times on this program mm. and then on i think two times again on journalist hangout nothing has happened to me <laughs> my future is defined by god and no one else absolutely so this is the thing chinobu won the election i've answered your question right.